Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to visualize binary tree pre-order travel soul by using animation and walk you through the code line by line. So uh, this is a tree that we're going to traverse. Since it's pre-order travel soul, the order is from top to left to right. Okay, so I will leave this visualization here for those who are not quite familiar to check. Like myself, for this tree, we know the expected output should be A, B, D, E, F, C. You can pause to think about it. This is only for us to verify the correctness of the algorithm. And this is one of the solutions. There are many different algorithms and I pick this one as it's readable for me. Okay, let's start with the root A since the input is root. The first line here asks us to create a linked list called stack. It's like you set up a tent in order to place nodes. It will work as a working memory to store nodes and give out nodes in certain order. It only accepts three nodes. The second line here asks us to create a linked list called output. We will return this list in the end as a deliverable. Okay, in the next line, I'm checking if the root is now. If it's now, stop here. If we let now pass it, since now doesn't have value, in the line below, when you call the value of node, will be an arrow. We add root A to stack. Next is a while loop. The above nodes are just IP tethers. This is the main course. The condition of the while loop is like this. The stack should have something. Now we have node A, so we're good to go. And we pull out the last element and delete it from the stack. Then we give this element a name, node. Uh, it's very straightforward, but it's not a nice name. It's like you name someone person. Next, we get the value of this node and we add it to the output. Now output got its first member, which is the root, and it's pretty intuitive as a pre-order traversal. We verify the expected output. It's correct. Next, we check if node has the right child. Yes. Then we grab the node C to the working memory stack. Next, we check if node has a left child. Yes. Then we grab node B to the working memory stack. Next, we go back to the beginning of the while loop. Check the stack. OK, it's not empty. Then we pull the last element out and delete it from the stack. We give this element a name, node. Now node switches from A to B. Next, we get the value of this node and add it to the output. Next, we check if the node has a right child. Yes, then we add the node E to the working memory stack. Then we check if node has a left child. Yes, then we add node D to the working memory stack. If you notice the order, we always add the left node after the right node. In this way, we can always retrieve left node first. OK, let's look back again and check the stack. OK, stack is not empty. We pull the last element out and delete it from the stack. We name it as node. Now node switches from B to D. Then we get the value of the node and add it to the output. Check the right child, nope. Check the left child, nope. It's a leaf. Let's see set it to stack if there's no child, unfortunately. Let's look back again. Okay, stack is not empty. We pull the last element out and delete it from the stack. We name it as node. Now node switches from D to E. Then we get the value of this node and add it to the output. Check the right child, nope. Check the left child, yes. Well, E has a single child. All right, we grab it to the slab, slab stack. Loop back again, no empty. We pull out the last element out and delete it from the stack. Name it as node. Now, node switches from E to F. Then we get the value of this node and add it to the output. No right child, no left child. Okay, we loop out again, not empty. 
and we'll pull the last element out and delete it from the stack. Now, node switches from F to C. Notice that C has been waiting for a long time, but it's the last one. Also, if you notice, the root of node is actually the output. Next, we get the value of this node and we add it to the output. No right child, no left child. Okay, let's loop back in. Great. Finally, we clear out everything. We are not qualified anymore to go inside of this loop. So we just run to the last line. Okay, return output. And if you notice here, it's the same with the expected output. All right, so that's what I have for pre-order traversal. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Um, if you like this video, please give a like and subscribe. That helps a lot.